That apology was something. Come on. We need lights. So be nice to the helpful man. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. You really helped her out, huh? Now, oh, you know, just a few chores here and there as... I was glad to help your mother. She, no, I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that darn key. Wait, wait, Sam, you have more of our keys? Yeah, the one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can- Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh, figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning. Door's a bit temperamental. Haven't you been taking care of this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son. Give me a try. Good. Here, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little... No oh, shit. Well, at least the door is open now. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, it's easy enough to fix. Now, that fuse box. Oh no, no, no. You and you are going to clean up your mess. I'll take care of the fuse box. But I didn't do it. I'm not asking. Go on. All right. Fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. All right. Let's take a look. Look at what? The whole jam needs to be replaced. Nah, just need to sand that part down. You could refinish the whole thing, but that's a lot of work for an old door. Let's try this one. Pass me that handle. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, shit. Oh. What happened? You okay? Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, <laughs> just a bum knee. I uh, wrecked it playing ball. Ball? Football? Hmm? Seems good. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um. Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. <sighs> well, something about it really got to him. I don't think any of us are exactly happy to see that gun rack. <sighs> Remind me to take it down later.
What are we gonna do with this wreck? Take it apart and sell the scrap? Be my guest, but it sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. Preda rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. Why is there wolf pee in our barn? Wait, if it's a weird sex thing, I don't wanna know. You wish. It scares off predators and rats. Ugh, lovely. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow! broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. You weren't even supposed to be here. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but... I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. There's more, I can feel it. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne. <sighs> I said get out! Out! What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Look, I had to make that call. I was following procedure, what I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann, I'm sorry. Please just go. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory's a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. 
That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? I don't know. I have no idea. We shouldn't jump to any conclusions. Look, I know he took care of you. But that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne. Even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? Get out. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here. Get off my property right now! So, we agree. Brown came out here and bullied Marianne the same day she attacked us. And then lied about it. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. Man, I can't believe Bron lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Mm. It's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Han, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. It's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. <sighs> Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? It's, it's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison. I'm sorry, but it'll be a total mess. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay, well, you tell me when you're ready. Huh, well, I think I just made Tina's shit list. Dee and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kinda rings a bell. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? She had someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. We need more time than that you know, to get things cleaned up and, you know. Thanks. But what if it's the only call we get? 
And I guess we just grow old and lose our minds in that fucking house. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <sighs> so, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in! He doesn't get a pass just because this is uncomfortable for you. I'm not giving him a pass. It's just... hard. This whole damn situation is hard. You think I liked learning all that shit about Tessa? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. I didn't come here to ruin your life, Allison. I just want some answers. I know. That's why we're doing all this, right? Uncle Eddie warned me about this, but I didn't listen. Oh yeah? What did Uncle Eddie have to say? that we've led pretty different lives. We might not really see eye to eye like we used to. Ah, I see. Chief Brown said you shouldn't trust me, so you don't. Got it. Why do you shut people out like this? You're literally talking inside my head. Not sure how I could shut you out even if I tried. You know what I mean, Ty. Now, you're the star, and I'm the compass. Okay. And don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt? No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? Nah, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. So, not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Nah, all that money would have made me soft. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. Found. Aha! I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. 
All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? Uh, what I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. 